What's going on YouTube? Chiasna right here. So in today's video I have more fantastic tweaks that you can install on iOS 11.2 all the way up to iOS 11.4 beta 3 with the Electra jailbreak. Now let's get straight into it. I'm going to start with the first one which is called Power Module. So I'm going to show you how it works at first. As you can see when you open the control center in here you have a new plate in here containing all the buttons for respring, safe mode, reboot, UI cache, power down and lock screen. So you can do all of these actions directly from the control center which is quite nice. The settings are pretty simple, you just go ahead here on the settings, control center, customize the controls and add it in here, it's called power module. So you can pretty much add it and then once you add it you have it in there and you're able to use the uh, controls that it provides. So in my opinion it's pretty cool, it lets you run the respring and the safe mode which are very very important at least for me and the UI cache is very useful when applications that you have installed or tweaks do not show up on the home screen. So in my opinion it's definitely a cool tweak to have. The next one in line is called Lettuce and this one allows you to customize the keyboard. Let me show you. I have currently a black theme to it and if you take a look in here it looks definitely dope but you can actually choose a color for it. The settings are these in here so you can either use a true black or custom colors which if you enable is going to allow you to select a color from here and I can for example go ahead in here and select this very ugly green but you got the idea and once I do that sorry I can do this again and the keyboard will change and of course you're going to select a uh, keyboard color that actually works that actually looks great in my opinion the blue one looks okay so let me show you once you do that you're going to be able to open it and there you go you have a blue keyboard you can also change the color of the text if you want that the next one is a free one and it's called Lil X and Lil X is actually very interesting. You would believe that I'm currently running on an iPhone 10 because it looks like one. Well in fact I'm not. This is an iPhone 7 Plus and it's running the Lil X which gives it the interface of the iPhone 10 completely. Now down to even the button remappings. If I press the power button right now it's going to activate Siri instead of shutting down the phone. So exactly as on the iPhone 10. You have the dock from the iPhone 10. If you open the notification center in here you have the same notification center with the uh, flashlight icon and the camera icon in there and if you drag from the top you get to open the um, control center. You don't open the control center from the, uh, the bottom in here. If you actually slide from the bottom while the uh, little X is active, it's going to bring you to the active applications in here. So you can get them out in here and pretty much press and hold on them and you can close them like this and this and this. So exactly as on the iPhone 10. In my opinion it looks okay. If you want to check out the settings, the settings are available in here for the little X and you can customize various parts of it. So it's a very interesting tweak. If you want your phone to look like an iPhone 10, then of course now you can and this one is completely free. The next one is also for the keyboard and this one is very interesting especially for the memes. Let me show you what it does. If you open the keyboard in here, any keyboard, doesn't matter where, if you remap the button correctly you're going to have something like this. I'm going to press here on the space and as you can see I have Unicode Faces and this is the name of the tweak, Unicode Faces. It's completely free, available on the Big Boss repo and of course you can put any of the faces in here. You can even sort them if you are using some of them much more frequently than the others. So I'm going to put this one here for example and there you go. I can paste it in there. So it's very very quick. The uh, settings look like this and you have the activator key which gives you two options the space key or the emoji international key and of course you can pretty much go ahead in here and uh, edit them and you know remove some of them or put them up and down and so on depending on how much you use some of them and if for example you don't use uh, this one in here, you can simply remove it and it will be gone. It's not going to clutter the list with no reason. So in my opinion it's a very good tweak, especially for the memes and online conversations. And the last tweak we're going to discuss about is App Delete. This one allows you to pretty much block applications from being deleted. When you do this, this gesture in here to pretty much activate the edit mode. In my case it shows how much the application occupies using a tweak that I presented in my previous video. But if you press that button you can remove the application like that. So it's gone. You can actually use this tweak called App Delete to prevent applications from being deleted. Even the ones that you get from the App Store. For example, I have the Electra 
extra in there and it's not removable. And the reason it's not removable is because I activated the app delete for that application. So let me show you how it works. You go ahead here on the settings, you have app delete, you go ahead here on the applications and you select an application. For example, I'm going to select daily motion and daily motion will no longer be removable. As you can see in here, if I uh, open the uh, editor mode, it's not showing up as removable. If I want to go ahead and enable that again here, I disable the daily motion from here and I'm able to disable it or to remove it. So as you can see, it's now gone. Now, this is very useful if you're lending your phone to your friends and so on, and you don't want them to be able to mess up with your device to remove applications and so on. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tweaks. The list of tweaks has been available during the video, but it's going to also be available in the description down below. Thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow. Peace out.